Okay, today what I'm planning to do is show you how you can create a quiz in Brightspace by exporting a file from exam view and importing it directly into quizzes database which means you really don't have to type in quizzes into the Brightspace and set up your uh, quiz database in Brightspace so if you already have an exam view question or database which you can use just directly import those questions for each of the topics and create a quiz it's always easier to edit quizzes in exam view and then making quizzes in brightspace becomes easy so that's what we're going to do today mm -hmm. so log into brightspaces go into quizzes so here if you come in the menu you will see manage quizzes question library and statistics so I'm going into question library I want to import the question database that's what I want to do so this is where you have all your questions if you have already imported questions into your question library so here what I want to do is I want to add a new question library that's what I'm going to show you that's what I'm going to show you so click import and you have three options here upload a file browse an existing library import it from a learn learning repository so what I'm going to do is I want to upload a file so what I'm going to show you next is how to create the file that you need to upload into Brightspace question library at this time we will go we will go into exam view that's the software that I'm I normally use for creating tests while in class now being online I want to transfer those questions into Brightspace so I have a multiple choice test here in exam view so I have uh, created a quiz with 20 questions here they are all multiple choice they are all auto graded and then you can go into file and you can go into export when you go into export you have a number of options here the one that I'm going to choose is Brightspace by D2L so I want to export this file in a format that will be acceptable by Brightspace and D2L so I'm going to select that so I'm going to place my exported file over here so I'm going to just name it as making quizzes in Brightspace that's the name I've given to this and so I'm going to save the file here now when you save the file here you may want to give it a file name I just want to identify it you can give a description of the type of questions which topic unit etc here don't have to touch any of these right now then you need to create a directory where you want this file to be imported in the library so I'm going to call it making quizzes just to identify the file that is being imported now once you have exported the file we'll go back into Brightspace and we are in the question library that is we went into quizzes once again quizzes question library import and now I'm going to select upload file so I get this option where I can drag and drop the file so I'm going to drag and drop the file that I just created you may want to know the location where you save that file I'm just going into the quick axe so I should be able to see where I have so here is the quiz that I exported so making quizzes bright space that was the name of the quiz that I created so I'm going to drag that and drop it into
so now the questions are being uploaded into Brightspace. So upload is complete. There are 20 questions and one section because it's only multiple choice. And I'm going to click import all. So you would notice that I have a new quiz here or a new question library here making quizzes in Brightspace. If I go and update this over here, ideally it should show up. So in the question library on the left side, you can see making quizzes Brightspace. That is the quiz database that I uploaded right now. Okay, so this is where I created the library. This is where I imported the file and you can use this to make a new quiz. So in order to do that, let's go to quizzes again new quiz I'm going to make, make the quiz making I can add a category to it I'm going to call it now there is this option over here which says add edit questions okay so I'm going to select that one so I'm going to imp select import browse question library because I already imported the file into the library these are the questions that I want to import so I'm going to select it over here but if you only want to select a few questions you can actually choose those few questions now normally what I do is I make a question bank with the specific number of questions for a certain quiz everything done in exam view so all I have to do is just import it and pick all the questions and make the particular quiz it makes it a little bit easier rather than manipulating it here so I have selected all the questions and I'm going to import it now I have imported all the questions there are 20 questions in the quiz I have imported them go back to settings and if you come down to add edit questions so you can see that all the questions that I've added here so I have about 20 questions they're all shown here now you can make all your settings changes over here if you want you can if it's a practice quiz you can allow hints you can choose disable right click if it's a test that you're giving in class or online you can disable instant messages the Brightspace does have a lockdown browser but for my board we do not we have n we have not enabled it but in many of the universities and school boards it may have been enabled then you have the additional advantage of using the lockdown browser but here you have some limited functionality you can disable email instant messages and alerts next you can also make an additional change over here that is if you want the students to answer one question at a time complete it submit it and move to the next question not go back and forth select one number of questions per page prevent moving backwards to the pages shuffle questions these are some of the things that you may want to add uh, to give functionality to your quiz as an genuine quiz in a test environment and then you can actually click save this is at the top of the page we have done this page completely it has a, no, a number of uh, tabs over here which you can add functionality to so these are the general properties of the quiz that we have done restrictions that is first initially you can hide it from users if you want to have a start date or a due date you can give it over here availability of the test usually the date of the test you can change the time here to whichever time you want you can add an end date when the test will be over in this case it is randomly selected if you want to enable a password so after setting up the test and if you want to enable a password you can add a password for an additional security so that you can 
The students may be able to see the test a few minutes early, but they may not be able to access it until they have the password. You can send an email with a password or you can use a chat to show them the password if you're on a Google Meet or a Zoom Meet. So that will help them uh, log in at the same time. Now, this is something that's interesting here, the timing. Uh, you can give them a recommended time for the quiz. So let's say my quiz is going to be 90 minutes. You can show the clock and there is a second option which says enforce time limit. If it's a test and not a practice, then I would suggest going for enforced. Change it to the time, 90 minutes. You can give an extra five minutes uh, for them to wind up. Now here are a couple of options that you may want to look at very carefully. Allow students to continue working even if the time exceeds. The second option is prevent the student from making further changes. That would be an option you want to select if you are giving a test. Allow the students to continue working, working but automatically score the attempt as zero after they exceeded deadline. So that is only to give an opportunity to the student to try to see what type of question and whether he's capable of answering it. But the second option is good if you are actually doing a test. Now here is a special access area. Normally if you are deploying the test for a class you don't have to make any changes. Now suppose you are making a test and you want only five students to answer the quiz or the test then you may want to select allow only users with special access or you can also do this after the test has been deployed let's say you had uh, a class of uh, 20 students of which 18 of them took the test at the regular time two of them were unable to take the quiz so you want to redeploy the quiz at a different time you can choose the second option and select the users so if you go to add users and with to special access you can actually go at this time uh, it gives you an idea it gives you a pop telling you that it is going to be defined so if you select OK then it will take you to your new page where you can have the names of students and you can select only the students who should have access to it so if the names are not here you can also go and uh, search for the names that is something that you can do and uh, select the names from here. So I'm just going to randomly select a couple of names. Um, uh, not that I'm going to, so, and then I will click Add Special Access. So when you go down, now you will see there are two names here who have special access, and I can even set the time that the students will actually take this test by changing the time over here change the date and time but it shouldn't should be within the time frame of the entire test life that is the only thing that you may want to take care of once you save that uh, that will be good to go okay so I'm just going to save it for now just to show you how it works then you have assessment allow attempt to be set graded immediately upon completion if it's a practice quiz you can select that so that's it for now and if you go back to quizzes now let's so go save and close if you go back to quizzes over here you will see that we have making quizzes in bright spaces the one that we created right now and if you click on the drop down menu you can see what you can do you can edit the quiz make visible to users you can have a preview delete grade report statistics attempt log will tell you how many students have logged in for the, the time of the quiz so that's it for now how to make a quiz in right space by exporting questions using exam view